Welcome to Centenary Heights State High School 2024. My name's Tim O'Connell, I'm the Head of Department for Junior Secondary. And this presentation will give you a brief overview of our school. More importantly, if looking to enrol your child in year seven for 2024, it will outline that process for you. Pictured on this slide are our four junior secondary captains for this year. As you can see, our captains come from four different primary schools, which is not unusual when our students come from such a wide range of schools into year seven at our school. I'm often asked by parents and year six students about how best to prepare for high school. My answer is always one step at a time. Simply watching this presentation is certainly a good first step, but there will be lots of things will be done both at your primary school and also from our school throughout this year that will help you along the way. A real strength of our school is the fact that our students come from such diverse cultural backgrounds and from many primary schools. Our current cohort of year sevens of around 286 students come from over 35 different primary schools other than our four main cluster schools, which are Rangeville, Middle Ridge, Gavin Bar and Withcott. Junior secondary at Centenary Heights State High School from years seven to nine is made up of almost 900 students. The focus for junior secondary is certainly on relationships, student wellbeing, and in year seven, that transition from year six. From the start of year seven, students very quickly learn there are three pillars for success, safety, respect, and learning underpin all that we do. There are many staff at Centenary Heights State High School that have that focus, student wellbeing. The most important teacher that our year seven students have, is their home teacher or their pastoral care group teacher, who also has the class for at least two subjects. They are partnered with a second teacher who also has each class for two subjects. By reducing the number of staff that students have access to, the focus is certainly on the building of those successful relationships in a similar way that they are done in primary school. There are a large number of other staff that work with our students on a regular basis, from heads of year, guidance officers, school mentors, we are year 12 students, etc. Students in year seven and eight cover a wide range of curriculum areas from the core Australian curriculum of maths, English, science, and so on, to a wide range of elective subjects. They study for one term at a time in year seven and eight, which include the traditional arts and technologies. Added to this is that we do have a specialization class for music in year seven and eight. Students audition for this particular class and are accepted based on that audition. Our students from first day, year seven, not only have the Australian curriculum that they follow, but they also have access to a wide range of extracurricular activities, including academic ones, many different sports, cultural ones, so they can be involved, for example, in the school musical or play, many social activities. And of course, our year seven students have the opportunity to attend the only camp that we have across the whole year level at our school in week five of 2024. As mentioned, the year seven camp takes place in week five of year seven. The purpose of this camp is not only to develop students' individual leadership, but also to accommodate the fact that we have students from many different primary schools, sometimes up to seven or eight different primary schools represented in each class. It's a great opportunity for students to get to know each other, to get to know their teachers, and just to settle in to high school. Given that not all students are able to attend a camp away from school, we do conduct two camps. The first camp is at Runaway Bay on the Gold Coast that runs for three days. And at the same time, we offer similar programs at a school camp 
that also runs for the three days. Certainly there'll be lots more information coming out at the end of the year, particularly after enrolment, that will be shared with you. But given that the camp takes place very early in 2024, it certainly has or pays to make sure that you have a full understanding of that camp by the end of this year. I mentioned at the start of this presentation that the transition is best done one step at a time. On this slide, you will see a number of steps that will be taken between now and the start of next year to assist your child transitioning to year seven at our school. This information session certainly kicks it off, but there will be an opportunity throughout the year to conduct or be part of school tours that I run for up to one hour. I certainly will be speaking with students in year six from our cluster schools about enrolling at our school. Students also have the opportunity to spend some time with us in term four of a Tuesday afternoon, which we call our interface program, where they will sample some of our curriculum, our teachers and our facilities. And we then have an orientation day on the Tuesday of the very last week of this school year, which is conducted in most high schools in preparation for 2024. Our enrolment process is a two-step one. The first step being an expression of interest, a one-pager, just to provide the details and the fact that you are looking to apply to our school for your child. And the second one is the full enrolment process. This process opened on Tuesday, May the 2nd, and will run right up until the end of this school year. My strong advice is to make sure that you start this process as soon as you possibly can. By having your child enrolled early, it means that they will be considered for the class placement that will take place early in term four. If you are unsure, you certainly will see lots of information on the front page of our website about enrolling at our school. And if in doubt, strongly recommend that you contact Mrs. Lil Smith, our front office, who is our enrolments officer, and she certainly can lead you through each step of the process. This is that front page as mentioned on the previous slide where you will find all the details you require for enrolling your child in year seven for 2024. Our school is enrolment managed to ensure that we have capacity for all students who reside within our catchment area. Students who live outside our catchment area are eligible to apply but a decision on their application will not be possible until the end of the school year. This is to ensure, of course, that we have a position available for all students who live within our catchment. Given our school is often at capacity, students are also strongly advised to apply to their nearest high school. As mentioned previously, there is lots of information about the enrolment process that you'll find on our website. There are also a couple of flyers that outline the frequently asked questions about enrolling in year seven, and also the dates for school tours and other activities that are conducted throughout the school year. If in doubt, please contact our front office and they'll be able to provide you with that additional information. This slide, shows you the three key pieces of information to start with. One is that frequently asked questions document on the right hand side coming to year seven in 2024, where you'll find all sorts of things about the day one start, what to wear in day one, tuck shop, etc. The one at the bottom is about the process that we take about enrolling in year seven, which includes the dates for the school tours, the interface days, and on the top left, you'll see the expression of interest form, which you can get from our website as well. Our school is a bring your own device school where all students, even those starting day one in year seven, require a laptop for their learning, where they will be able to access all of the material that their teachers share for each individual lesson. My biggest advice is again, to look through our website where you will see that there is a brochure which outlines everything you need to know in relation to that particular device. 
certainly read that before shopping for your child's laptop. Again, if in doubt, please contact our school and we can certainly help you in the right direction. Whilst I can't answer your questions in this process, again, I encourage you to make contact with our front office, particularly with Mrs Lillian Smith, our enrolments officer, if you have any questions about enrolling your child in Year 7 for 2024.